Here we go. Hello, get up. Okay. Yeah, just like this. Are you awake? I thought I heard you get up. Talk over. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about about him? Who's talking? Yeah, a bit. You should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. What else is on oh, your mind? I'm jumping. I don't know. It seems weird, but I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain, just looking confused and worried. Those eyes. I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow. Oh, I'm kind of, I can for double something. jump. Do you think it has to do with with you and what's been going on? I don't know. It was just a dream, Rachel. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. All right. Woo we are fast fox this time. Dum 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 Oh gross. <gasps> no So not far from her home, she followed that path to something unexpected. Wait, why? Dead Foxy! It's hopefully not our baby. She couldn't stay though. She had to find her other two children. <gasps> so she took that path. She followed it towards something ancient. Something with answers. The first tree! Yeah, this is our game. Was this my baby? I hope it was not mine. The fox looked high and low, searching for any sign high of and clubs. low. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell, all their own. The land was trying to tell my story, too. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. thought they were dead. But just two rabbits. I want it all. Pigeon? No, stones. What do the fox say? Ring, 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 ring. I hear, uh, I hear. <laughs> what was this noise? How do I dig? Do you remember what my dad did for a living? Wasn't he like a lumberjack? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If wood was a canvas, and a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even after working a 50 hour week, even after his hands were more splintered, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan bean seed and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can Did remember, you? and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. I hope not the other way around, please. Those physics and animations, yeah. <laughs> Boomerang, Foxy. Maybe fact foxes can do this. 
you never know. I mean, you have never seen, but you never know, you know? some kind of portal oh here usually those kids would leave me alone but somehow they could tell I was different they made fun of how far away I lived they called my dad a sourdough I was a blabbermouth as a kid telling my dad stories I made up for hours but after that show and tell I didn't tell him much anymore he didn't know exactly what was wrong but his best guess was that the toys he carved weren't cool enough. He carved me a tank and tried to tell me what it was like to be in a real tank as a serviceman. I didn't know your dad was in the military. Yeah, in the army. The sad thing is that I've pretty much forgotten until just now. There's so much I still don't know about him. I'm sorry. He knows how much you love him. You're going to see him again soon and have some closure. I'm sure. You're going to make the fox vomit? No! I'm just behaving as a usual fox. What is this? A duck? Can I go up here? I want to go higher and higher. Oh, I see more stars blinking. Maybe I need to go there. We will find our way. We are the super fox. But I want to catch you and eat you. I want to eat you. Probably not even possible in this game. Okay, jumping is pretty lame. happy by myself. I started drawing a lot, mostly animals I saw in the woods by my home. I then imagined designing my own hideouts with things like TVs and pantries full of chips and cookies. I think that idea of leaving home and drawing blueprints started my career. I found a lot of solace in that. I'm not surprised, but I did the same thing, you know? There's something special about having a place to call your own. Oh, guess. Now look at us. Well, if you count renting in an overpriced city. <laughs> it's as close as we can get for now. I tell. What a bet. And now I want to eat you!
15? 15 is enough. Oh, how can I fail this? Hello? I mean, at least, oh, oh, I hope this game has a happy ending, you know? Not like the last Fox game. I need a Fox game with a happy ending now. The head bump from the last game made, made me sick a little bit. Oh, a slider. Now we can slide. I love the music, yeah, it's so nice and full of harmony. Finally, a good game. Holy shikinis. What is this? Ah, uh, light, 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 light. Hey. As a kid, did you ever do show and tell in your class? Yeah, I, I think I only did it once. When I was in the fourth grade. That's you know how my life music? was around then. Music. I wanted to show my class what helped pass the time and distract me. So I brought a dozen paper cranes I had made. I think I told everyone how badly I wanted to be a bird and fly, embarrassingly enough. Don't be embarrassed. Every kid wants to fly. For me, it was another toy for my dad, a wooden boat. I remember guarding it so carefully in my hands as I walked into class. When I sat down, a group of boys immediately made fun of it. They asked which trash can I found it in, or why an ugly log was my favorite toy. When I got up, I didn't even want to tell them my dad had caught it. I said it was a joke gift my friends had given me. Kids can be so cruel. Some of them are. I shouldn't have let them get to me, but it did. It's amazing we bounced back at all. I don't see the next star. We, we can go or should go. See this over there. Is this where I'm coming from? I lost orientation in this game. We have some nice music. That's the only thing here. Oh, this was my dad one, right? It's in D sharp. And you as a music expert, how can you not know? Hey, do I have to go back? I actually don't think so. Let's let's head in this direction here. I think no going back. This good here. Yeah, I have no idea about music, so I cannot confirm if it's right or wrong. You can tell me whatever you want to. I'm wondering if, I mean, the name of the game is First Tree, so we are probably going toward this tree, right? It's looking sus. 
Oh, we are going to the tree. That's right. Can I pick up my guitar and upload it? I think my parents bought me a guitar. I think 15 years ago, and I used it two times. Yeah. You think this? I'm a musician newbie. So unskilled. Used it as a decoration. <laughs> yeah. This is why you buy a guitar for decoration. Yeah, true. True story. A good decoration though. Yeah, the sad thing is that it's still in a bag, like guitar bag, or how do you call it? So it's a very bad decoration. Unfortunately, yeah. Think this way. I will end this today. I don't even care about this one crystal over there. We gotta play in D sharp. Why? What is now happening? Sped up in piano? I guess it's not winter anymore. My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. I wasn't popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes, hide roadkill in people's garages, Wait, break windows of the barbershop and in mailboxes? I never did. My dad did. was furious, but he was so busy working he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living and he couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. Next one. He was working another late night, and my friends were over, saying how bored they were and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage, and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were craning around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. It felt like I was soaring what? in the air with borrowed wings. Oy, but all good oy, things have oh, been. I missed. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. What followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. I want to eat this. Maybe without the butterflies it's easier? It is. You damn butterflies! For this jump here. Oh yeah, it's showing me butterflies. Wait, I want to have them both. 
Do I even need butterflies for this? Maybe? Do I need butterflies? I need butterflies. There are no enemies in this game. And it's a... Come on! It's a harmony game, so... This one is an F. Okay. I like it better than the other one. Please do not fall. One scale to play. Snow. <gasps> no, don't stuck here. Jump. For a second, I thought like I'm gonna stuck there. I'm happy and minus. I'm a bit sad and dark. Well, okay. I would say. Oh. oh no, I wasted the jump. After he drove me home from the police station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like him, how I was going to be someone and leave that hick icebox for good. He just looked forward at the road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette deck and chucked it out the window. In my sage teenage wisdom, I thought I had proved the ultimate point. But my dad had a different idea. He slammed the brakes, slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel, and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was, make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. I found it 30 minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went back to the truck, put the wet tape back in, and sure enough it worked. We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? It surprises me too. It's like I didn't really know who that kid was back then. I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself, more than to me. Wait, what's behind the waterfall? Then nothing. Oh, we need here for jumping butterflies. to jump until I arrive there. This is quite hard for me because I really like to press space all the time. This is my problem. Okay. 
Do not press space. No space, no space, no space. Not yet, not yet, not yet. But no way we need three butterflies. No way. But now I'm allowed. Whee! Just not in one. Crazy jump, yes. How can I get up here without jumping? You cannot tell me I cannot get up here. Wait, maybe on the other stone? And then falling now. No, no jumping. Now. No jumping. Even though I would really My friends would laugh like about to. that night and talk about how crazy it was. And I laughed along you have to pretending play it didn't bother me. One of these days. But it did. Mm -hmm. yeah, I imagine stray. my friends growing old in the bush, unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving. Where all I would have to look forward to are lumber yards no. and evening beers. Super job. I had to climb over. That was my only goal for a long time. So oh, stray. Should I play it? Should I not play it? If there was some way I could take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. You bought it I yesterday. So yeah, you told doing me. doing what others didn't expect. You can meow. You do what cats do. Why did do? I do that? It's fun. There's yeah. one fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we should also probably buy it. never met. But it's you're absolutely 18 right. Eighteen euro. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Why? Where are we going? And why is the conversation stopping? Because I'm. Oh, the tree. Who cares? Who cares about conversation? We can go to the tree. The first tree. Orange cats are always males? Not always. I mean, if they 100% male, uh, not male. Red, then okay. But if they have white, like here white or on, on the tail white, then they can be female. The past he tree. Were most distant at the times when I detested him the most. A knife? He kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn Ooh. chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire oh, at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. 
Well, the 90 Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. One of I felt three small, way. but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found three. something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. Oh, see males? I hadn't even carved it's it. 80. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I love sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Okay, we need three whatever things to jump on the stone. On my experience, does three color get always female? Three color, it's a female. It can also be a male, but will not be able to produce children. It's animally. This now jump, jump and climb game. Very, every color, very, yeah, this is true. But it is possible. Dude, I want to go to the light. Wait, what is zero? Oh no, one of zero. I need to click on this now. Never found one. I found a dead one, a male with a Three colors, white, brown tiger, and red. Really? Yes, but a dead one. Is this forest and where the hell am I? I'm just, <laughs> Toby, you're just googling. I mean, it was not so amazing because the cat was dead. You know? Well, the cat it was really not amazing. It was hit by a uh, Need to discriminate which normally only females are. Oh my god, this is complicated. Never paid attention to the biology class in school. My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. Okay, just on a if he wasn't because... watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, the stone. but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck. So we would drive it deep into the Street woods, cats, then. and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. 
Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. Street cats are not very good. I cannot click on this. Oh, I can. Two. Finally. One more. Istanbul is full of cats and Japan has an entire island with more cats than human inhabitants. <laughs> Aggressive? They are probably just hungry. Salty. We were happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before well, you evening did not fell. Adopt her, then? Sometimes the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. I don't care about the crystals here, I just want to get up here. Because he was ill, he made me sick. Yeah, but that is life, you know. Unfortunately, you cannot adopt every stray cat. You can. Yeah, it's a friend that leaves you behind. That is true. Forever, so what can you do? Lucy can or I can? I can!
Lucy has seven. True. And right now, three just for caring. Here's many more. Okay. Three. Uh oh, what is happening here? Do I have an ability now or something? Something special? Because I need to cat. Wait, what now here? I want to do something with my new ability, but as it seems, I don't have anything. It, 17 is really old for a cat. like crazy but it's not doing anything on this side but I cannot wait there's a light coming from the stone it's something about a stone okay, I made it to what what is this new Changed here. But now it's anyway like just in the past so you cannot change anything so don't think about it too much hmm. do i have a map or something no of course i don't you go I 
I mean, it's definitely leading me to this glowing stone, so I have no idea how to interact with this one. Wait, is there a hole like there? No, it's not a hole. Is it? Hello, Foxy. Or should I go back and maybe then the the roots from the the tree opened or something like this? <laughs> Let's go and check. It was super long way. Hmm. But it was there. Sometimes, um, my cat. You, you did everything for your cat, and it died because it was old. So that is, like. What can you do? Please tell me something changed around the tree. Oh yeah, the the gate opened or the, the roots disappeared here, I guess. Hopefully, they are not appearing like no, no, no. We are doing right, and there's a wolf standing on the other side. No, jump, jump. Cast about this one. We want to get to the wolf. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry for everything. Too bad. Ah! Stop! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh we are not getting all of them. 
we are getting 69. Where's this dude? Infinite running? Dude, where's the wolf? Music again. The stream really sad, but we want a happy ending. Still, stop. Sad music. Go. Happy ending. I don't. I cannot play the second Fox game with a happy or not happy. With a very sad ending. 2023. Hmm. I have to think about what I'm playing tomorrow. Like, what special game. search on oh, what the heck what is this toby funny japanese song about cats the heck what are you searching for in your free time you do that right now you don't want to cry maybe we should all do but i cannot Unfortunately, this will be copyrighted. So, no! Neko no Bakuzai? What's this? Not going to the stars. Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I will never I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Uh, the cat. me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds, and it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami creams while she was in the hospital, so I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I think we both have always loved animals, and for me that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, 
but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way, except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried dog biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. The wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly. And that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph. And you're not as alone as you think. Happy ending! It's all just so pointless. Just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road, together. It can be Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns and mist, but it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? Family. I'm so glad. You're part of my family, Rachel. I know. And I'm, I'm glad you're part And this is not my family here. Hey, I'm a fox. Not a deer. I can eat you if I want. a happy song. Sun is shining. Oh, this is looking like jumping. What is coming next? And we can do it. Not so easy as it seems. I would say it's a hopeful song and we have hope. For a good ending we have hope. Oh. 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 
Christ, I didn't want to fall down. I hope I can jump. should be fine we have 86 now this is more than enough don't tell me this game has more than 100 loading hopefully the fine will load too oh no it's a set the fox knew her last cub would be waiting for her at the first tree she was almost there. Oops. The rain cascaded onto the jade valley where the entrance to the tree was. Life was protected there, because that's where life began. It was now only a mother and a daughter left. Items from my life still dotted the ground as she moved closer to her destination. Mm -hmm. And destiny. Kill our last cup is waiting. You heard this? Come on. Where's this damn tree? Oh. A house? Towards the house. I thought we are going to the tree, not the house. Let's not care about these lights. I just want to go oh. to the house. And I hope we can get there. We go here first. super supportive with my college plans. To a point. Things were okay until this terrible accident happened. I guess a forklift flipped over due to a bad axle and it crushed one of the workers there. My dad didn't eat for days. Even though he wasn't directly involved, it devastated him. Can I go up here? Not only did it hurt the business, but it just freaked him out. He would talk in his sleep, muttering things about firing people and saying sorry. One fateful day, he approached me, said that since my school search wasn't going well, I should finally be a man and take over the family business. He said one day he was going to die, and that all of his work, sacrifice, and even that man's life would be wasted in vain. I just lost it. Teenage me just exploded at the thought. I screwed up. I said things I shouldn't have. I think I should not go here. He was having a crisis, here. and I pretty much spit in his face. Out of the map! Hey, let me in. Okay, we are not supposed to go there. 
What is over there glowing? Oh, it's just the normal light, right? No house for us. Sad. Very sad. Oh, there's another house. Okay. If not this house, then the other one. I hope. It's not really looking open for us. Open. No, it's not open. Can I jump on the roof? I'm a really evil fox here. Okay. Nothing. No house for us. I would only know where to go. Hello, good evening. Betty is smooth. What's up? not this way I don't see a light what is this game about it's about It is about a fox that is seeking for their cups. Yeah, a good question. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know. We are trying to figure it out. But it's about a fox. Searching for something that we cannot find. Wait, this is the way back here. Where's this damn tree? Still don't know. Oh wait, I can go there. There's a way, a light. We just follow the light forever. And ever. And ever, ever. What does a fox say? I hear her here. I hear her here. Nope, we're not making fun of the game. Was that the last time you talked to him? No, I called on holidays, and he would call on my birthday. I guess we acted like nothing ever happened, which was stupid. Didn't want to ask about his lumber yard, and I'm sure he didn't want to ask about my job search. I never went back and visited. I think the last conversation we had was about what movies we had seen and what exactly a best boy is in the credits. I thought he would be here so much longer. Ding 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 ding. Oh. The, the final one. Oh. My god. My shoulder. You probably didn't hear this. In the it. distance, the first tree I, illuminated oh, the wasteland. I'm getting old and rusty. She this is go my cup. She did the only thing she was capable of. Again? Moving forward. My dad died alone in the middle of the wilderness. I should have been talking to him more. I should have done a lot of things differently. If the first tree on earth brought life with it, if it taught the birds to sing and fly and showed saplings how to grow, what could it do for us? Well, ask the first tree, not me. <laughs> Why is like fox games always about losing their cups? It's sad. 
It's really sad. Leave the past behind! Come on, maximum speed! There was this a letter time is not your fault, yesterday. true! From a name I didn't recognize, with a quote I can't stop thinking about. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. More and more, I'm realizing one important truth. Each of us have our own journey to the first tree. But sometimes, I'm not sure I'm ready to take that first step. You already have my love. Sounds like a happy ending. You already have my love. Is this the right way? Ago, some that called the tree of life. <laughs> Is it about a fox? I hope it was. Oh, I arrived. Yeah, this is the tree of life. to tell children who price back and says type here you answer <gasps> oh what the heck um Time to leave the path. Stop dying all the time. I'm we trying not to. It was over. But I have no idea. It was only a dream. A distraction from tomorrow. I don't you think dreams must only gone. bring back yeah. to memory so many important feelings. Maybe it was just a dream, but it was also a gift. Yeah, I suppose. But tomorrow we're getting on a plane to the last place on earth I want to be. The only person that would have made the trip worth it is gone. You're going to see him and be with him one last time before you say goodbye. I have one last quote for you by Emerson, sealed in an imaginary letter from me to you. It is the secret of the world that all things subsist and do not die, but only retire a little from sight and afterward return again. Go to sleep, my love. We have a big day tomorrow, but I'll be there with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Good night, Rachel. Good night. Good night, Joseph. I think it might be finished. Six months later. What? Don't tell me the the fox has new babies. What? Why we are in the house? It's like very early in the morning. Oh, is this Rachel? Where's the door? Oh, here. 
Yep. Put on my jacket. Can I open everything? Can I open the main door? I can. I can do so much stuff here. I can eat the bread. I can eat. This about losing a child. Go outside. What's supposed to do? Can watch the sun. Sunrise. Mm -hmm. It's too close. You're moving out? Why? You see her. Am I also in pyjama? Like, I just got out of bed. It will be cold. Good night, John boy. No. Can I fall down here? No, I cannot. It's not. Cannot jump suicide. I don't want to live. I guess we go back home. House. We are moving out. Leaving this place. Something in the back of the house. Does this look thing like I can drive the car? No car driving today. This way. Where are we going? I thought this game is over, but <laughs> it's not. It's not over. Okay. Next? No, cannot take it. But I can get inside the tent. A map? A what? What the hell? The... The fox? What is this now? It's the fox... Showing us now! Oh, I can also spray. Oh my goodness, I thought I'm so lame. And have to walk the whole way slowly, but I can just run. Mr. Fox, can you please stop for me? Why, it's only daytime? Flowers? What? 
this even real? In the river? Looked a little bit like park ride area. Just saying. Oh, this is sad music. Should we really follow this box? Soundtrack. And the fox with the three babies. Well, are we are following now. Okay, this is. I think this is a happy ending. And we got a good message for life. Let's see, but now it's over. The first three. GG. What a message. And what a soundtrack. Good. Very good. See, we learned something for life. Titi.